Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to another episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. This episode, um, I'm going to basically just promote Lumber Tycoon 2 for all of its glory and all of its awesomeness and tell you, the viewer, you need to go play some Lumber Tycoon 2. All right. <clears throat> A lot of people are like, oh, Lumber Tycoon 2 is so dead code. It's so old. It's so. No, it's not. It is still one of the best creativity games in Roblox. And it has some of the most ingenious puzzles that I've ever seen. And it still has a very, very strong community. So, the other day I was um, thinking about it. I'm, I'm like, you know what? These toilets, they are a physical object. And then when you pull them out of the package, they turn into a non-physical object, which causes less lag. So, instead of me keeping all these toilets, I'm just going to make a wall of toilets over here on the side. So... It's going to be a golden wall of toilets. And then after I'm done opening all of my golden toilets that I have, I'm going to go get some lava wood because I haven't done that in a really long time. I want to, I want to do a couple of lava wood runs. <laughs> Don't say runs and golden toilet in the same sentence code. It, it, it's confusing. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, but seriously, Lump Tekken 2, one of the best games. And I know that, like... Oh, coming from code, that's... It, it doesn't... Well, yeah, it's because I that's the game that I play. That's that's what I love. Um, other Roblox games come and go, and I lose interest in them, and things happen. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? Hello? There, there we go. We're back. Um, I'm back. So, we're only two minutes in. Wow. It only took me two minutes to unbox all of those? That doesn't sound right. Did I, did I accidentally do a recording? Whoopsie. Hold on. Let me go look at the videos. No, 7.31 was the last recording. 8.03, that's the new recording. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, I'm sure I've got some more golden toilets laying around here somewhere. Let's, uh, let's take a little peek. And just real quick, see if there's any golden toilets anywhere. No? No golden toilets? That it? Okay. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Um, so, since I am going to be doing lava wood, I'm going to go ahead and drop off the end times axe. We're going to pick up a fire axe for myself. Because that's what you're going to need. Um, if you have the chance, or if you have one, grab that beautiful fire axe. Jump in here. And huge shout out to Morgs. Because uh, you were in the game earlier, but... Uh, hold up. Where's... Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, I can't see if I have my axe out inside the, the thing. So, um, huge shout out to you, and I'm glad that you were able to get your channel up and going, and I'm glad that I was influenced to it. And it's, it's not as hard as people think. If you want to start a YouTube channel, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, one of the great things about doing YouTube or becoming a YouTuber is being able to do something that you love and being able to entertain others. That's that's the beauty of it. I love being able to entertain people. Um, now, with the whole coronavirus and with the lockdowns and the quarantines and everything else that's going on, a lot of people just still are not aware of how online you can be. Like, without having to go call somebody or go to the store or do certain things, it's just... Chill, chills, mint, chills, mint. Uh, he was asking if we could uh, play some mini games, and I didn't say yes, but I did like the comment. I mean, normally, if you get a like on a tweet, it's oh, oh gosh, it's because I read it. It's not because I like agreed with it. So, a lot of times, there's a I just can't hit the like button hard enough. I'm like, oh my god, that was a great tweet. <clears throat> And, by the way, there's no particular reason that I'm um, getting the lava trees. In fact, I don't need lava at all. I just... It's one of the things that, like, I really enjoy. Especially whenever um, I figured out how to, like, do the tosses and stuff. Whoa! Nice toss. GG. 
I would say two trees. Two? Two. You know what? Let's go ahead and do three. I'll see if I can get three. And I'll kind of show you the, uh, the method of the madness. Okay, just, just go on over. And, you know, I was trying to toss you and be all cool about it, but it's just not working out for us. Either of us. So. And then that one there. That's a big one. Look at that boy. Hey there, big boy. Boy, boy. Have a boy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how much damage those things do? That's why you, you gotta get yourself the fire axe. Now, used to, this was just by chance that you would drive off this thing and be like, Oh my goodness, no! And then like land it like a boss, right? Uh, but now that we've got... <laughs> okay, I did not land it like a boss. Y'all can make fun of me now. But, now that we have the, uh, the, the thingy glitch thingy. Uh, turn, turn, whoop. Uh-oh, hold on. Uh, rotate. Okay. What in the world? Rotate. Ooh. It does not take us long to figure it out anymore. Or to, to, you know, just to get fixed. Okay. So, um, here's how you break down a lava tree. You want to chop it all at the joints. You don't want to have any of these curves. Like, you want them to be their in own individual modules. Okay, oh, 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 I should probably explain. Um, see this right here? Technically, this is one module. Mo model. This is one model. And this is one model. And the reason... Oh, and this is a model. And this is a model. Now, the reason this happens is because of the way that the axes work and the way that you chop them. So, if I were to take this, chop it into two, this would become a model, and that would become a model. Same thing happens with, with these joints. So, right now, if I put this into here, right, it is a model with three parts um, and more. Well, not more on that one. More on this one, because this little piece right here, that's actually a part as well. So, that's one, two, three four parts on a single model. If I toss that into the back of the truck, it becomes very unstable. It's not as stable as if I were to just chop them and become one piece like this. Okay, and that's that's to do with the programming behind it. Okay, so just know that that piece is more stable than this piece. And the same thing, if you were to chop it right here, right, and you just had this piece and like a little piece here, don't throw that in the back of the car. Get rid of all the joints. If that makes sense. Get rid of the joints. Ooh, that might not work so well. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on you. You you're you're a massive piece. Hold up, boy. Okay, so how about you? Are you gonna are you gonna be too long as well? These long boys, they don't fit. Come on. Please. Please? Please? No? Alright. Uh, can we get it to fit long way like this? Yeah, but that takes up a lot of room. Okay. Hold on. You stay there. Cut this one at the joint. Two, three, four, five. Oh! By the way, you may hear an air conditioner in the background. I got a new air conditioner today. No offense, Dad. The, the one that you um, provided me it was old and it was just it was dying uh, i don't know if it wasn't getting enough ventilation or what the case may be but it it was not doing well so i ponied up the cash and went up to menards today huge shout out to the lady with the blue eyeshadow for helping me find the most perfect air conditioner and huge shout out to uh the the guy that kind of looked like Rick and Morty. <laughs> he helped me out as well. Uh, picking out the, the kind. Uh, but the one person that I must thank is my wife. Because she, she said, you know what? Just go up there and get you a new one. Because it's it's dying. It's hot. And you've missed how many Roblox streams? I'm like, yeah, it's true. I have not been doing my Roblox streams because it's been so hot. 
hot. And I say that on the day that it's actually nice and cool outside. It actually cooled off a little bit for us. Uh, it happens sometimes, though. All right. We're going to try and fit as many as we can in here. So, if you notice what I'm doing, I'm systematically taking each one of these and I'm laying them across in such a way that they should form. Oh, buddy, come on. Just down in there. Please, please. They should form this, like, perfect flatness. Okay? Now, this one we're going to chop in two and then turn sideways. And this is going to go where... Oh, oh, oh gee. Go where the wheel will. It, okay, maybe not. Bit long. Where are you, Code? Uh, vol volcano. Volcano. There you go. That was that was too long. Dang it. Hmm. All right. So next up, we're going to take the big piece and we're just going to lay it across like this, nice and flat. Same thing right here. Now. This does take practice. I don't want you guys thinking that you're, you're going to be doing this the first time that you try it, but this is how I stack trucks with lava wood. So if you're going for that 20k per hour, 20,000 hour job, this is, the, this is the method for you. Okay, so let's take a little bit off the end here, because I know I can get these to fit. Just a little bit more. Three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. Get your lava on the floor. Gotta, gotta get up to get down. Gotta, gotta get up. Gotta, gotta drive up to drop down. Ha, ha, ha. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, code, you're a dork. I know. I know. I try. I try my best. I really do. Blink. There we go. Ooh, can this turn, uh, yeah, yeah, it works. We're going to get it in there. Can we, can we, just, a, no, no. Uh, you know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. We're just going to have a little bit. Come on, come on. Ooh, oh, there we go. Ooh, oh, oh, shoot. Come on back, come on back, come on back. We really should even those up, shouldn't we? All right, come on. I want to try and make them as even as we can across the back here. Just like that. And like that. Good. Ooh, man. It's getting exciting. By the way, there was a couple of episodes, um, I would say there was a lot of episodes where I just went through and did a ton of lava wood. I mean, it was like five or six episodes of nothing but lava wood. So that was a good two years, three years ago. I don't collect wood anymore. I realized the other day that like all of my money comes from fans just giving me donations. I'm like, that's kind of sad. I don't get to have fun anymore. Mm -hmm. But not today. Today we are collecting the lava wood. Showing you how to make that sweet, sweet moolah. That money. And if you have a lot of money, please help donate to the poor. I don't see, I'm serious. Like, if you see somebody in, inside here and they're like, you, you have 10 million and they're under a million, drop them one. Drop them, drop them a mill. Unless they're like, please. Please, monies, please. Axe monies, please. And it's like, no, I don't think so. Okay, these these little ones will come back for if we have time. He will. I'm going to say hi, hi. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. It's old Nilly. This is not going to work on a birch tree, is it? 
Oh gosh. Nope. Not doing that. That would take forever. Fire axes don't work on pretty much anything else except firewood. Oh, by the way, I don't have coffee tonight. I actually have. Now I do. Yay! Hmm. Mountain Dew Clear. I'm just kidding. It's a green bottle. I have a green screen. It's funny. <laughs> so, met a couple of interesting people the other night, and we got to ch chat and have discussions and stuff like that. So, if you're from that other night, hello and welcome to the channel. Um, shout out to everyone that was over there. That was fun. Uh, why is this not choppy chopping? I know that a lot of people who come and subscribe to my channel are not the same demographic that I'm shooting for, but I mean, it really is. It's videos for everyone. It's family-friendly content. So, I could be playing Roblox, could be playing some Fortnite, could be playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Who knows? But, alright, so Call of Duty might be a little out of the range of <laughs> the demographic. But, as far as family-friendly goes, always. Always on the channel. I will do my best to accommodate everyone's likes and taste. And there's this saying, you can't please them all, you know? I strive to, but it's very much a true statement. Like, you, you really can't please everyone in the world. You just can't do it. It's impossible. Somebody somewhere sometime is going to complain about you and complain about the things that you have to say and won't agree with you. And that's okay. That is 100% part of being a human being. Now, how we react to it and how our response is, that's on us. So, if somebody says something that you don't like, you can be offended. That's There's no problem with doing that. If, if you're offended by something, then good. Be offended by it. And you know what? State your opinion about it. But don't go and try and change the person because they don't believe the same way you do. You know? You can have a discussion. You can have a constructive criticism and, and lay it all out. But it's when people start getting rude start turning into the Karens of the world. I'm gonna call 911. Why? Because you offended me. So what? Be offended. <sighs> um. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so. There was a post that I did on Twitter. And I told myself before I ever posted it, I told myself it doesn't matter what they say or who says what. My response to it is not going to be threatening it's not going to be like if they have an opinion of what to say about it I will absolutely not fight it right so what I did is me and my daughter we were inside uh, Sam's Club right we were going around and I was looking and I noticed a lot of people not wearing their mask or, or wearing it completely wrong like down here <laughs> When they test for the virus, where do they go? Do they go into the back of your throat? No, they go down your nose. So why don't you have your nose covered? Face mask. Now, a lot of people would disagree with me, and a lot of people are saying, oh, it's a hoax, and this, that, and the other. I don't care. If it's a requirement, and even Sam's Club themselves, they say, you must wear a mask if you enter the store. Why are you trying, trying the, the patience of the people? Like... Put a mask on. Put a mask on, wear a mask, and go shopping. And then when you're done, you can take your mask off back in the car. But because I saw so many people walking around either without a mask or wearing it underneath their, like, chin or just completely wrong, irresponsible, I decided to play a game with my daughter because I was bored. And, well, okay, so first off, she actually got upset because she thought I was yelling at her. I was not yelling at her. Okay, so Hope, if you're watching this, I was not upset with you, baby girl. I wasn't. Okay? 
she was upset because I had like I would kind of pushed her forward and I said move forward move forward move forward right and she had been standing over here and that's when I looked behind her and noticed that this couple was standing behind them behind her they had their mask down like this underneath and they were they were just talking and I'm sitting here like you are threat like no offense I am highly paranoid about the virus and it's my choice I'm going to wear a full on mask I want you to stay six feet back you're not observing two of the rules which is social distancing and staying stay away from my kid so I kind of pushed her in the back I said move forward move forward and then my wife was like what are you doing and everything else like it just it kind of blew up a little bit and then finally she went over with her mom I grabbed the cart I pushed it forward get it out of the way get, get away from the people and I went back over to her and I talked to her and I'm like kiddo the person standing right behind you did not have their mask on in fact I want you to take a look around the store right now right where we're standing and I want you to tell me how many people are not properly wearing their mask do they have it underneath their chin do they not have it over their nose those people are a threat straight up okay I'm not going to sugarcoat it I'm not going to be nice about it on my channel I, I'm not you can say your opinion about how you feel about a mask oh I got a medical condition fine if you have a medical condition that makes it where you can't wear a mask don't go to the store or have somebody else go for you there are, it's 2020 there are too many options for you to have delivery there's too many options to have uh, pickup Sam's Club has pickup in fact, we don't even go to the checkout anymore whenever we're going through the store because I have the little scanner on my phone. I can go beep, 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 beep. That way I don't have to touch the screen because I'm paranoid about touching the screen because other people are touching the screen. And I know that there's somebody there who's wiping down the screen every single time. Guess what? In my mind, I just can't do that. And yes, I sound paranoid. And yes, I sound like a raving lunatic. But at the same time, my wife went through cancer. She went through chemo treatment. She went, did radiation. She did... Um, all this she had a surgery and all of that you know that entire time that we went through it she is still high risk okay my kids going to school a lot of kids are a lot of parents are like let the kids go to school let the social let them be socialized going back to the school they're not going to be in the same social situations it's not going to be the exact same it's not going to be what you thought it was last year it's not there's not going to be a whole bunch of smiling faces there's going to be a bunch of masks there's not going to be giving hugs to your friends and, and hanging out in the hallway and like carrying each other's bag. It's not going to be like that because you have to stay socially distanced. They're not going to listen. They're kids. And guess what? You're going to be getting sick and bringing it home to your families. Now, again, I don't want to make anybody fearful of it, but I do want you to be aware of it. So. When I say it was after after I talked to my daughter and after I had explained the situation, what was going on, I said, let's play a ga game. She had her phone on her. I had my phone on me. I said, you take pictures of everyone that you see or you notice not wearing their mask properly or not having a mask on at all. I will do the same as we're going throughout the store. We'll continue shopping, and then at the end, whoever gets the most pictures, we'll, like we'll compare pictures, count them up, whoever gets the most wins. And not for any kind of prize, but just, you know, take your mind off of it, take my mind off of it, and kind of relax for a little bit. So, we played the COVID game, <laughs> or the mask game. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but it was, a, it was fun. And if somebody had challenged me at taking a picture in a public place of a person not properly wearing a mask if somebody came up to me like Where are you? what are you taking my picture for i wouldn't have challenged it i was it's a public place and there's already cameras you're already on cameras so i mean there's no legality about it i can take pictures on my phone any place in a public place and there's nothing you can do about it okay and what i do with those pictures is my business. I am the, the intellectual holder of that image. Doesn't matter. <laughs> now, that's not to start a fight, and I don't care about your comment down below. If you're commenting, well, the legality, blah, blah, guess what? Practicing law without a license is illegal. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I don't care. But 
I took those. Um... Oh no! No! <laughs> what happened? Oh, I did this completely wrong. He's like, careful! Careful! I did this wrongly. Come on, come on, come on. Slowly, slowly. This is some heavy wood, by the way. Having this much wood up here. I'm not even pushing the go button. I'm just kind of guiding it down. So, I'm sorry. I, I do apologize. I wasn't meaning to go off on a rant. It just it was something that was brought up today. And, um, again, I'm not, I'm not going to question the legality of it. I'm not going to argue the point. Uh, I posted it, and it was a fun little thing that we did. But I did post it to Twitter with the images of... I think at least five, four or five people and the improper wearing of a mask. Now, this is not to insult them. It's not to embarrass them. And, and basically, I don't know who they are. I have no clue who they are. But at the same time, how many newscasts and news articles and stuff like that post random pictures? Better yet, how many times have you seen random pictures posted on the internet of people? You don't know them. We don't know them. I don't know them. And it's not meant to be an embarrassment. It's to, to show, like... Hey, here was the improper wearing of the mask and how we scored our points in the game that me and my daughter played. So, again, it was not to embarrass or to make fun or to do anything like that. And it wasn't sent there to spark a, a conversation about the legality of, of people not wearing the mask. I don't care. I really don't. <sighs> That's not true. I, I really do care. I do care if you're wearing your mask properly, but at the same time, I'm not the store, so I'm not going to sit there and try and enforce you wearing a mask. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Better sense than I've been making. <laughs> oh gosh, did that actually go through? It did not. All right. You. Oh, it did. It did go through. <gasps> oh, yay. Yay! Okay, cool. So, B. And I think that was the, the longest piece that I've got. So, if that if that went through properly, we should be good just to drop all of these in here. One by one. My connection is quite unstable. It's going up and down. I had that the other day. The lag, for some reason, lately has just been... Crazy. It's, it's all doing Chinese TikToks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I do TikTok as well. And yes, I've heard the threats of them saying, we're going to ban TikTok. You are? You're really you're going to ban TikTok? Good luck. Good luck. Um, because you know what's going to happen? If they were to like ban it, the only thing I could see is doing it on a network level where the uh, traffic would be monitored and stopped by the ISPs, the Internet Service Providers. In which case, we also lost the, the rule of um, internet being a utility, which was the whole 2011 thing, 2000, 2013, I don't even remember what it was. Net neutrality. That was the, the law of it, basically. Basically, net neutrality means that ISPs, internet service providers, cannot limit or speed or charge for different kinds of traffic. Could you imagine having to pay for Twitter traffic? Yeah. Oh, you're on AT&T's network. Oh, would well, you like our Twitter Twitch package to allow you to have faster delivery of internet? No, thank you. Anyhow, that's not the point. Um, if they were to block TikTok's ISP internet traffic, okay, I already know what's going to happen. People are going to download VPNs like NordVPN, say that they're coming out of Europe or China, and then you're just going to go in through VPNs and get your TikTok that way. So. <sighs> oh my gosh, Code, you are on a roll tonight. We've talked about schools and conspiracy theories and lumber and Roblox and programming and hacking. Yeah, kind of. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> yes, yes, welcome to the Internet Hacker Underground. Where it's disguised as a Roblox channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Am I? Am I though? Am I really? 
<laughs> I mean, if you honestly think about like everything my channel has to offer and what I do on my channel, I am a different channel. Thanks, bud. Oh my gosh, guys, we got so much lava wood. Look at it. Look at the lava. Oh, this this piece, this piece here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anybody need some lava wood? We got lava wood for days. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna have to take that piece out like that. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and build. Hold on. Let's do a turn. Can I, can I get it to drop in right there? Maybe. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. There we go. Now I should be able to move it. It's going up and down. Oh, his connection's going up and down. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I'm sorry that you're having a bad connection day. I've I've had those before. I know how they feel. Oh, by the way, huge shout out to Finny Poo, uh, playing on the Retro Week. He uh, he has an old school Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System and a NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, the SNES and the S the NES. So. Um, <sighs> Went in last night, gave him some bitties. I think I gave him like 50 bits over on Twitch, and uh, he gave me a, a flaming hot Cheeto or a flaming hot uh, Dorito. I love flaming hot things, dude. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Oh, I'm I'm at 32 minutes. <laughs> I've ranted long enough. <laughs> Tis time for me to go back to lunch. Yay! Oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, my ADHD's probably gotten away from me in the last couple of minutes. So, um, anyhow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stand down here. We'll finish it out with the uh, chill mint. Come on, Jills. Boop. Come on, bro. Broski. All right. Through the glass. Oh, that is an awesome looking picture. See that? See how they use the lens? Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Like a good YouTuber does. Like a good YouTuber. Subscribe, click, like, comment. I don't know. Um, it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I wrote a book on how to program your own uh, your own Roblox game. It's called the Advanced Roblox Coding Book. You can get it at um, Barnes and Noble, Walmart. Um, basically, just Google it. Google Google Barnes and Noble. Go to Barnes and Noble and, and do Heath Haskins. Do my name, and you'll find it. It's the Advanced Roblox Coding Book. I highly recommend it. And if you need to, it's from Simon & Schuster. You can order it from Adams Media, Simon & Schuster. <sighs> I'm just trying to push it. Just push it out there. If you're in quarantine, or if you're, you're needing to learn something new, or if you've never done programming before and you're just interested, go for it. Go buy the book. And that's, that's going to be my only push for like any kind of advertisements. I also have merch and stuff. Uh, if you wanted to, you could purchase one of those. It's your choice. But, yeah. <sighs> oh, outro. Um, love you guys very much. Have a great night. I will talk to you very soon. Steven? Steven? Outro. <laughs>